Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 99. On day number 96, we began discussing, discussing units of measurements. Units of measurement, how to convert, how to go about converting English English units into met into 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 metric units and metric units into English units. We're going to do a few problems today just to, just for some practice. Here's the very first one. The question simply is, how many how many centiliters in ten liters and we learned on day number 96 that a centiliter is so called because centi the prefix centi centi means 100 whenever we see prefix centi in, uh, in, uh, with any, anything at all it just means 100 how many centiliters in 10 liters we know 1 liter we know 1 liter has to be made up of 100 centiliter that's why it's called centiliter. We don't have one liter, we have 10 liters, so multiply both by 10 and we are done. The answer is 1000 centiliter will make 10 liters. 10 liters is made up of 1000 centiliter. Let's do one more. Let's do the next one. Four yards, four yards equals approximately how many? Let's do it on the top. Four yards equals approximately. How many? How many centimeters approximately make four yard? Again, we're going to keep it very simple. We're not looking for precision. We learn on day number ninety-six when we started this concept here. We learned the basic conversion rates. We know that about nine tenth, nine tenth of a meter, nine tenth of a meter. We learned equals about one yard. We don't have one yard, we have four yards. We don't have one yard, we have four yards. So multiply both sides by four. Multiply both sides by four, and here we have four yards. One times four is four. Four yard approximately equals four times nine is 36 over 10 meter. But the question is, it's not how many meters, the question is how many centimeters. Well, centi means 100, which means that 100 centimeter we know 100 centimeter equals 1 meter, right? That's why it's called centimeter, 100 of a meter. Everything that we have learned before is coming in right now. Therefore, to go from meter to centimeter, we just have to convert it by 100, uh, multiply by 100. 36 over, 36 over 10, 36 over 10 times 100 centimeter approximately equals 4 yards. That's it, we are done. Divide top and bottom by 10, this 10 goes away and this 0 drops out. And it's essentially 10 times 36. 10 times 36 is 360. 4 yard approximately equals 360 centimeter. Voila. The question was, how many centimeters in 4 yards? The answer is, it's about 360 centimeters. Do you understand? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I need, I need a quick break here before we go to the next one. Five grams, five gram is approximately, well not approximately, exactly, how many milligrams? And we learned that before, on day number 96 when we begin the series, this is the fourth, this is the 
This is the fourth video in the series on day number 96 for the very first one. On day 96 we learned that milli means 1000th one thousandth of something. 5 milligram is what 5 gram equals how many milligrams is what we're going to find out. We know that 1 gram has to equal 1000 milligram. That's why it's called milligram, one thousandth of a gram. We don't have 1 gram, we have 5 grams, so we just multiply both by 5. Multiply this side by 5, multiply that side by 5. 5 gram turns out equals exactly 5000 milligram. That's all. Let's do one more. Let's do the next one. The next one is asking us to convert 8 kilogram equals how many pounds or if you like 8 kilogram equals approximately approximately how many pounds. We're not looking for the precise answer. Again we know 1 kilogram equals about 2.2 .2 pounds. This is something we have to know by heart. We don't have 1 kilogram, we have 8 kilograms, multiply both sides by 8. And that's it, we're done. Therefore, 8 kilogram has to equal approximately 2 times 8 is 2 times 8 is 16. Let's do it here. 22 times 8, 16, carry 1, and then 16 plus 1 is going to be 17. It's going to be 17.6 pounds or about 18 pounds. About 18 pounds. 17.6, not about 18, but about 17 and a half pounds. 17 and a half pounds. About 17 and a half pounds equal, about 17 and a half pounds make 8 kilos. 8 kilos is about 17 and a half pounds. Let's keep on going. The next question is 7 pound is about how many ounces? Well, because here we are going from we are going from English to English, we are not converting from English to metric. We are not looking for approximate. We are looking for exact. One pound we know equals sixteen ounces. Again, how do we know that? Because we know that we we memorized it. One pound equals sixteen ounces. Therefore, seven pound would be seven times as much. 16 times 7 is what we need to figure out. 7, 6 are 42. 2, carry 4. 7 ones are 7, plus 4 is 11. So it's 112 ounces. 112 ounces, it turns out, make 7 pounds. Let's do last one. Let's do one more. My pickup weighs two and a half tons. How many pounds is that? How many pounds is that? Well, one ton, one ton equals two thousand pounds. This is something we never talked about it. This is brand new information. One turn, one turn, we are told, it is just given, this is given to us, that one turn equals 2,000 pounds. Well, that makes life quite straightforward. Multiply both sides by two and a half. So, two and a half ton would have to equal 2,000 times two and a half, Two and a half times two is five, so it's five thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds make two and a half ton. The truck weighs five thousand pounds. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.